supervisor. Likes to build a nest right here at the end of the this area. Keep an eye on the operation out here on the wheel deck. Just got done cutting the panels on the bottom panels for the 1963 Outcourt Sunfish Chip. Use the um, pieces that we peeled off the bottom. They had a uh, cornucopia of issues, uh, plywood checking, where the plywood just starts uh, drying out after 56 years. After about 50 years, by the time we picked it up, had a couple of holes, uh, some damaged areas with repairs. And the inside was not in bad shape though. Here's the uh, painted over baler down here. We might try to free that up. But in the meantime, got some new sheets of quarter inch marine grade plywood. It's a AB quality, meaning A, it's got a nice smooth sanded side. The uh, marine grade plywood has more plies than regular plywood, and it's also put together with uh, waterproof glue. The B side, the B side, the B quality side, has, well, they have little voids, so they fill it with these little, call them these little footballs. Cut out a piece and graft in a new uh, good piece, glue it all in. So this is going to be sanded with a couple coats of primer and painted if I were wanting to finish it bright I would have cut out each panel individually and or laid the panels out in such a way that would have had the A side on the outside but since we're getting paint I'm not uh, didn't do that it would have required a lot more laying out a lot more painting what we're able to do is Take one panel because they're symmetrical on either side for the bow section, another panel for the stern section. And cut out uh, two at once. So now what we'll do is we'll start to fit them. And the way they're fit, when they came uh, at the factory, when they came as a kit, is they laid a little strip of wood down the middle. You butt everything up against that one strip, it's about three quarters inch wide. And then you go down and put the glue on, come on and nail. Nailing pattern is every one and three quarter inches or so. You can come along with a little template, drill some pilot holes for the nails and Put your adhesive on and start nailing it down. A little jig here also lets us come in, find the edge, and where that pencil mark is, come along and draw the pencil line so we'll have the just pulled up right here. So it's not where the pencil line, it's actually where the edge of the board is. So we'll make a mark a line down there. And that'll give us the nailing line. For the side underneath. So glue, get everything lined up. We'll come up with these little, I think they're number 14 silicone bronze ring shaped nails. We've got the little ring so when they go down to the wood they grab and they hold pretty pretty tight. 
after you're done gluing and nailing the piece, it's, it's not this piece, but it's a piece similar to this, the spacer piece pops out. It's not glued in, but then we come back and glue in this keel strip. This keel strip has, it overlaps each edge of the plank and fits down in the groove between them that's left over. And we will glue that in. So that we're all done, we'll have this little strip right down the middle and every six inches or so put a screw in to go along with the adhesive. These uh, pieces came off of, of chip, got several of them. Could probably uh, get with this and a bow handle and a few other bits of wood and adhesive and nails, we could probably build another uh, boat similar to this one. So that's where we're at on this, uh, getting ready to have some rainy weather come in. So next up is Probably going to put a little coat of um, paint, some epoxy paint on the inside of this to help in case water ever gets in it, help prevent it from soaking into the wood. The uh, plywood that's already there had some type of coating on it, and it's in pretty good shape. But uh, since we've got this raw wood going on the inside, we'll put that, that epoxy paint on to help with it. I so, hope y'all are doing great. We're uh, got Zip over there, Winnie over here supervising, working on 1963 Sunfish Chip. <laughs>